Hey yo, how's it going you two? Welcome back to the channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Chubbs, I also go by JChubbs, and today we're picking up where we left off in our Monster Sanctuary playthrough. Uh, in the last episode, I believe we... Uh, we continued exploring the ancient woods here, and we found some new people to encounter. Some things occurred, and we're now chasing people. So if you missed it, if you missed that little chunk of story, of lore, of beautiful, saturated goodness, go back and watch the last episode. <laughs> I don't know why. That's all I got. So we're just gonna we're just gonna kick it off where we uh, where we were. Um, here's the team, by the way. Uh, Big Squish is still on the team for now. Coldstone, Kaka, Cinderbug, Broldor, and Father Bayaka. Um, the team might change. I know I said that in the last episode. I'm still debating about it, still thinking about it, but we'll, we'll see as we get more monsters um, if there's going to be a big team change or not. I was just going to try to find a uh, little bit of a, uh, a location update for you all, but now in the last episode we kind of started to explore up here, and because of that I wanted to come back. And look, and just out of caution, I'm going to grab Kaka first. Are those supposed to be little sausages and, like, fruits and veggies or something like garlic hanging from this thing? Because that's kind of funny. Nice touch. Hello. All right, let's kick it off with a little fight. Uh, three, a goblin brute, goblin warlock, and another goblin warlock. All right. <clears throat> I'm not going to waste any time on it. They're all weak to physical elements, so that means Father Bayaka, Broldor... And let's bring Cinderbug. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little spicy with Cinderbug today. So we'll we'll get that combo going. Just like that. And then we're gonna use the Fury of Blows for a little bit more damage. Spicy spicy. Now the punch combo from my boy here. Goldor coming through with the big damage. We like that. Actually, you know what? Yo, next turn. I'm gonna use Earthquake. World War has Earthquake. And we haven't got oh my goodness, everybody got shocked. But Broldor Door has Earthquake, and I said in the last episode that uh, it was like we have it and we just haven't used it. And it's just a wasted opportunity, because this is one of the best times to use it. Ah. But that's fine. Cool. Next time. <laughs> we'll use it next time. Next time. Well, I hope everybody's day is going well. Today should be, what, Tuesday? I can't get this audio to be normalized in my headset. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure today is Tuesday. So let me know how your Tuesday is going down in the comments below. A Goblin Brute Egg. Let's go ahead and hatch that. Also, I haven't gone back and looked at the comments yet, but... As far as I know, I have an app for, like, the YouTuber side of YouTube. It's called, like, YouTube Studio. And so, on that app, I can quickly see, like, the videos and the analytics and the comments and things like that. As far as I know, as of recording this, there was no episode, uh, there was no comment yet on last episode telling me what to name our previous goblin that we got in the last episode. Um, so, as of right now, we only have... Uh, we, we have Goblin Hood and Goblin Brute. And that's it. So. That, that's, that's all we got right now. Which is fine, I'm just saying. You know, that's, that's another monster that could potentially... This guy has no physical attacks. As far as I can tell, he's literally just here to be a, a wall. interesting but anyway last episode we had the goblin hood uh and i was like i don't know what to name it you guys tell me what to name it so goblin hood was there and now we have goblin brute so again another nickname uh, whoever has the nicknames i guess nicknames at this point that i like the most um the monster will be nicknamed appropriately and i will reference you i'll give you the credit for coming up with the nickname so Let's see what's down here. 
Ooh. Another key. Another key. That's actually really huge that we found that first because we're gonna need it. Ah, poop, I hit the wrong button. Ah. That's okay, that's okay. This area is really cool. All this, like, scaffolding. It's really nice. Pretty neat. But anyway, I'm guessing based on what and who we ran into last episode, like, I really, I genuinely don't know, like, how crazy things could get in this episode. Oh, hello. Speaking of who we ran into last episode. Gah, what is this nonsense? Release me, you foul beasts. Don't you know who I am? I am Ostenes, one of the ancient warder of alchemists. Bruh, it looks like the goblins have caught on to him already. Serves him right. Like, oh my god, Starbox, what's happening here? Did this guy get caught on his own? Who is he exactly anyway? And where's that coupon for Starbox? Bruh, he's a member of an old order of alchemists. It seems like they want to cause chaos in our sanctuary forever. Bruh. Like an alchemist? Like the guy who makes my coffee? In our sanctuary? I heard stories about them, but I had no idea they were still around making coffee. Uh, I guess we better put them in chains first, and then we can find out the details. Don't worry about these goblins. Don't listen to a high-ranking monster like me. We'll put this guy in prison cells in the Starkhold Dungeon. You should come there later. But first you have to deal with the Goblin King. Goblins don't really listen to reasons. So you have to deal with them the old-fashioned way. Give him a hot cup of coffee. I would love to do this myself, but duty comes first. Gotta go to Starbucks. And I make a bad example for you, Rookie, if I neglect my own responsibilities. Alright then, see you later. We're going to Starbucks. Goblins, let's put this criminal where it belongs. In the back of Starbucks. <laughs> so I'm guessing that the Goblin King is beyond these doors. Yep. Mwah! I can sense a monster. Great power behind that door. Mwah! That must be the Goblin King. Mwah! Let's take him on. Good boss. Oh. You're a lot smaller in person, sir. I was expecting a, a big old boy, like something from The Hobbit. You know, if have you watched The Hobbit? Have you? Have you watched The Hobbit? Because, you know, there's that scene where, like, they're all underground, and he's... Oh, maybe there's, those are trolls. Trolls, goblins, I mean, they're different, but similar. But they are different. Anywho, let's dive into this. But anyway, I was expecting like a big guy, like bigger than everybody else, has a club or something. But this guy, he looks like he's wearing a construction worker's hat. Alright, so we have two goblin hoods and we have the goblin king. Everybody's weak to the physical attacks. So I think we stick to what we've been doing. And we bring Cinderbug, which is not going to go first. We're going to bring Broldor, Cinderbug, and Father Bayako. Uh, you know, I guess, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the air sickle, and then transition into the fury of blows, and then we're gonna kick this off with an earthquake. Yo, big damage, glory. This ain't a Sunday morning service. What are you getting glory for? Jewel blast. Oh. Earthquake now! He also has it! <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I wasn't prepared for Earthquake. Oh no. Alright, we'll use Punch Combo. Oh, that was the wrong. It's fine. It's fine. We got rid of one. Um. Yeah, since he's the final attack, I guess I'm gonna go for the freezing punches. Maybe get another uh, side effect. Mass restore. Okay. Mud cannon. Hey. Earthquake. Oh. Man, this guy's out for. He's out. He's out here. He's trying to do something spicy. All right. I'm gonna go for the air sickle. Get rid of this guy. So it's just the Goblin King. Just the Goblin King. And I'm wondering if it would be better to punch combo does more damage oh we're gonna have to heal 
we're gonna have to heal this turn. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then I think... Uh, increases damage of next attack by 3%. Uh, I know he resists. I know he resists. I'm just going for the burn. Because we're going to need that uh, We're gonna need that accumulative damage, I think. Hey now, hey now, hey now. You're an all-star. Hmm. Alright, times two burn, which is great. And he has the shock because Kaka came in. Good, 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 good. Of course you're weak to it. Ouch. Alright, so the burn is now at level 3, which is great. You know what? I'm going to use the power buff. Might and sorcery magic and physical skills seal more damage. Alright, so... We're coming in hot. Nice. We got this. Mud cannon? We're good. Yeah, we're good. We'll be alright, we'll be alright here. Uh, I'm going to go for an air sickle. Followed by an explosion. Followed by a punch combo, and that's game. Three stars, a level badge, iron and wool. Everybody levels up, let's go. Boah, another champion down. Boah, hope the, I hope that the ancient woods will be more peaceful now. Boah. Now we should go back to the prison cells in the stronghold dungeon. Let's see what information they got out of that alchemist. Boah. Easy mode. Easy mode. Alright. Shared regen? Why not? Cold stone. Cold stone. Where am I going to give cold stone? Let's give you defense plus. I feel like you could use it. By this point in the game. I feel like you could use it. Um, I like the Cascade, I think it's nice. Uh, and then I want you to have an Attack Plus. And then Father Bayaka. I could give him the heal. Could give him the heal. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, what else is back here? Oh, hello. 400 gold and Cape Plus 3. And now we drop Hello? Hello? Oh? I'm pretty sure we can do this. Activates fire torches, right? Fire. We have Crackle Knight. That's not what I meant to... Eh. Do I have someone for Earth Orbs? Activates Earth Orbs. Huzzah. Which makes me think we can now go back. Right? Because we have... We have... Uh, activates Fire Orbs. Activates Earth Orbs. Activates Water Orbs. So what... I don't know what's in here. It's chicken. It's it's chicken. I don't know if that's part of the story. I don't know if that's... I don't even know if we should fight it. I feel like we're going to get wiped. I feel like we're going to get wiped. You know what? For the content. Can I jump over you? No, I can't. Reduga? Reduga. Why? This is a peculiar champion, and it has the elemental shift trait. Whenever it attacks, it will change its resistance and weaknesses according to the element of its attack. Why? 
which means that it could have any elemental weakness and resistance. Choose your party wisely. Easy mode, easy mode. We go Big Squish, we go Cinderbug, and we go Kakaw to start. We start off with a, a nice cheeky Poison Bomb. Get that Poison. Then we go for Ignite, level 3. Get that Burn times 3. And then... Uh, explosion. Haha. -ha. Look at that damage. Look at the damage. We're doing good. Oh, hello. Getting pelted. Um, okay, so now it's a fire type? So I'm gonna go for Acid Rain. Yeah, it's gonna resist that attack. It's gonna resist fire, which is fine. I'm gonna go for Air Cycle. Followed by Thunderstorm. Why not? Here comes a type change after Spark Shower. Ouch. Soul Bane. Hey now. Oh no, he heals apparently. Uh, but now it looks like... What type are you now? I can't tell. I'm gonna Poison Bomb again. Oh, he's an Earth type now. Which means he's weak to wind. Alright, let's do it. And then the lightning bolt. Not bad. Below half. And I think the status effects that we've put on has um, has negated the regen that it's got. Snow Veil. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap into Broldor. And it is now a water type. Okay, okay. I'm gonna shield the team actually. No, we'll air sickle. You fool. Ouch. Jeez. Uh, so now it is weak to earth. Nice. I should have went for the fire attack, but it's okay. Roll door. Big damage. Are you down here? Let's go. Four stars, a sun pendant, feather plus three, mass potion, and a, and a thing. You ascended to keeper, lancer, rank. New items available at the traders. Look at that. Is there something beyond here? Horizon Beach. You know what? I'm leaving this area. If you want to know more about it, you're going to have to keep watching the series. I'm going to push that button. Saving it for the next one. Plus, we have other things back here that we need to explore. Like, oh, hello, sirs. I appreciate it, but now it's... Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that there's a way to get up there? I don't believe you. I will get up here, though. Is there... Oh, uh, yep. Claws plus two. That could be nice. Okay. Oh. Need another lightning orb, huh? Hazelnut. I'm still curious about that, though. What was it? No, it wasn't up here. Was it? No, I'm confused. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. There. See, I have no idea how you would get up there. Maybe I need triple jump or something? I don't even know triple jump's a thing in this game. I have no idea. Anyway, well, let's hop down here. 
I'm curious what exists below the surface. Like in this room. Uh, which we could either use... Um, we could either use Bat Bat. Which actually doesn't look that bad. I was worried that it might look a little bad. But we also have Wachowski, who is a light instead. But you know what? For the sake of having a different look... For the sake of having something that looks different... I will show you with Batty. Oh no, I have stubbed my toe on those perilous spikes. Therefore, ouch. <gasps> Hello? A glow fly, he's so cute. Alright. This is the moment. If I ever needed an egg in this episode, this is the moment. Broldor, Kaka, and Cinderbug. A motley crew they were. Oh, it's a Tanuki. Alright. Well, that's fine, because I'm still gonna get what I want. I'm still gonna get what I want. Which is a Glowfly. Alright. I'm still gonna get one. Explosion. Do I go for an Earthquake here, or do I go for Shielding Leaves? Shielding Leaves does do a lot of damage here. The bat has been taken out. Whoa. Interesting. I'm going to ignite the Tanuki. Nobody takes the damage from this. Uh, I'm going to explosion. And then Leafs Slash. Nice. The Glowfly will be back. Will be ours. Uh, now it says weak to wind. Alright. Thunderbolt, lightning bolt thing. Nice. Alright. Boom. Skadoosh. Dunzo Funzo. Come on. Come on, that was a four star. You know I did good, game. You know I do good. Oh, there's another Glowfly. Are you in a trio? Uh, you're with him. He's a hard one to fight. I'm not gonna lie. Hello? I know this puzzle. I know this puzzle. But no, not like that. Yeah. Not like that. Yeah. Ha ha. Ha ha. I don't think that I can get up there. I really want a glow fly. Alright, last attempt for a glow fly in this episode. Everybody's weak to... Oh, it's earth and water. Okay, earth and water. So we'll bring Brodor, we'll bring Big Squish, and we'll bring Father Bayako. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Look at the little dude. So they do have some attacks. Alright, spicy, spicy. I see you. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's go. Cool. Does not have enough for another earthquake. I'll go ahead and leaf slash this one. Ouch.
flurry of blows. It's not gonna do anything at all, unfortunately. Um. Nah, you don't have earthquake yet. All right. We'll take out the one in the back. He can take out the one in the front. Yee. Okay. I hope we get one. They're super cute, and I would it would make me uh, make me a little bit happier to have one. Like, who doesn't want an adorable little glow fly? Like, that's that's the ultimate little boy right there. Is this guy poisoned or not? I don't think he is. All right, we can go ahead and give him that. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I think Leaf Slash constantly gets rid of one buff, which is actually really nice. So close. So close. So very close. Alright, let's wrap it up. Not, not, not exactly what we were looking for, but hello. Oh, all right. This is it. This is it. I was gonna end the episode, and be like, "Where does this lead?" But we're doing it. We're doing it. We are doing it. I'm gonna do the flurry of blows just to get the combo up. Earthquake. Big damage. Big damage. Solar rays? I knew it. Why would you do it on that one? Intriguing. No, I shouldn't do that attack. I should do slime shot. Yeah, we'll do it. Alright. Let's go. Take them both out at once. Okay. Enemy difficulty, combat duration, healthiness, buffs, debuffs. Sugar snap piece, we didn't get it. Sugar snap piece. Oh, the lights went out. Okay, we got our own. Um, okay, so I guess the uh, the glowfly remains a uh, the glowfly shall remain a secret. Not really. It remains hard to find. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It remains elusive. That's what we'll say. And uh, we're gonna quickly run down here and check out whatever this could be. Oh, and there will be another lever to uh, to pull at some other point. So uh, I guess that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode down here, in in the the bottom of the ancient woods, the caves, if you will, and uh, end the episode here. We're gonna call it. So thank you guys so very much for watching. In the next episode, we will go back to the uh, stronghold dungeon to interrogate that alchemist and see what else we need to do to progress in the story of this game. So anyway, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate your continued support, and I will see you in the next episode. Later, guys.